Hello everybody and welcome to our journey to Storybook Land. My name is Matt and I'll be your captain and storyteller today aboard Wendy. Now for your safety, please remain seated with all hands, arms, feet, legs, all the way to the boat. And please supervise all little ones so our stories won't take any unexpected turns. Most people enter enchanting rooms through the pages of books. But for those who visit in person, whether it be down a rabbit hole or with a little pixie dust, they often find the way in to be truly magical. Or it can be menacing. But don't worry folks, although it looks like we're being followed up by a monster of the whale, we're actually being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. Oh, well, like all good stories, our story too will start with Once Upon a Time. There was this big bad wolf, and he's always chasing after those three little pigs, but luckily they live in those three little houses across the way that are one made of straw, one made of sticks, and one made of guaranteed wolf-proof bricks. Our story is now taking one strange turn. When around the corner is the quaint English village where Alice grew up. One golden afternoon, Alice followed the white rabbit down, down, down the rabbit hole and fell down into Wonderland where her adventures only became curiouser and curiouser from there. Then here in Storybook Land, we have many inspiring places. Places just like London Park, where Peter Pan, Wendy, John, and Michael Darling first flew with the help of Tinkerbell Pixie Dust. They all flew off to Neverland where they would never ever have to grow up. And places like the city of Agrabah, city of mystery and enchantment, where a street rat named Aladdin first bumped into Princess Jasmine in the busy marketplace. Although the two were from different worlds, through the power of love and the help of the genie, the two were married and now live in the Sultan's Palace atop the hill. Now here at Storybook Land, love is always blooming. Just like the most the sparkling archways above, where a last and jasmine flew over, sideways, and under, off on a magic carpet ride, into a whole new world. Now all good stories have their places of love and light, but they have their dark places too. Places of mystery, places just like the Cave of Wonder, whose treasure bears a curse that can only be lifted by the genie. Now legends say if you set the genie free from the lake, he will grant you three wishes. Let's make a wish, everyone, and see if it comes true. What do we wish for? Snow White wished for a place of safety when she fled from the evil queen through the forest and stumbled upon the cozy cottage of the seven dwarves, who gave her shelter in return for only her kindness. Cinderella wished to go to the ball, but her wicked stepmother forbid it, leaving her at home in the blue roof chateau on the left. Cinderella's fairy godmother granted her wish, but when she did not return by midnight, her coach turned back into a pumpkin which was still up there on the bridge. Although magic wow. does have its limits, true love does not, and Cinderella now lives in the castle atop the hill with her prince charming. Wishes inspire our dreams here in Storybook Land, whether it be dreams of a happily ever after, or literal dreams, or dreams that inspire a bedtime story that sent babies to sleep on hills with silted flowers just like the ones on our left. Inspired by Walt Disney's 1933 silly symphony, Lullaby Land. Now magic is everywhere here in Storybook Land, it's even in the plants, kept small through the enchantment of Tinkerbell. So just like the lost boys, they will never ever have to grow up. That magic is what made this place such a favorite of master storyteller Walt Disney, and continues to inspire new tales. Tales just like The Wind in the Willows with Mole, Rat, and Mr. Toad, whose stately manor is up ahead on the left. But I don't think Jay Patty is Toad at home. I think he's gone out for another wild ride to nowhere in particular. Now, if you peer through the forest, there you'll spot a small rock garden home of a magical troll to help on an Elsa. The sisters grew up in that palace by the bay in the city of Arendelle. So Elsa fled to the icy mountain palace atop the north mountain to protect her sister Anna. Anna though would let her go, and Jerry, with her frozen friends, they stopped and met an Olaf to bring her back home. And in the Alpine village across the way, Geppetto wished for his puppet to become a real boy. And when Pinocchio saved Geppetto from the belly of Monster of the Whale, the Blue Fairy granted his wish. Geppetto's wish is like those of many fairy tales, just like our little mermaid Ariel, who followed Prince Eric into his chapel over there on the right, and was inspired to leave her life under the sea, to take her first steps on unsteady legs and become part of our world.
third story, though, the jet is a shot on the third bomber. It's pretty straight from the underwater city of Atlanta. And splashes out into a happily ever after. And that is the final piece of fairy tale magic for our story here today. But the magic in Disneyland never truly ends. So as we close the book on our story, please remain seated with all those hands, arms, and fingers all the way inside the boat. And when we come to a complete stop of the dock, please remain seated until the count of three. And on the count of three, we will all stand up together in the center of the boat for balance so nobody goes under the sea.